In this episode, we're going to take a look at Mosaic, which is a window management app. So here's the problem with window management. Most Mac apps don't open and fill your whole screen, so they're wasting a lot of space. Now you might have the opposite problem if you're on a giant 5K iMac, where you don't want the window to fill the whole screen because that's massive. That introduces the problem of window management, making the windows the perfect size for each application so you can do your work. It may not seem like a challenge to you, but once you use a window management app, you'll see how much faster you can be. And with Mosaic, you'll see how easy it is to arrange your windows and get just the workplace that you're looking for. And finally, we'll conclude this video by adding a few keyboard shortcuts to make things even faster. Let's jump in. Okay, here's a common scenario. I'm working on a laptop and I've got 15 inches of screen, but what I want to do is I want to look at this web page and at the same time I want to take notes in the notes app. And instead of jumping back and forth between the apps, I want them to be side by side. Pretty common task. Now, how long would this take you to arrange these windows? I'm pretty fast, so let's see how fast I can arrange them. I can just drag the Safari window up here and resize this, make it take up roughly half the screen, come over here to notes. Uh, that's already dragged in the corner so I can just drag this bar there. And it took a few seconds, nothing earth shattering, but it becomes tedious when you have to constantly resize windows and rearrange your workspace. So let's install Mosaic and see the better way to do this. Okay, when we first install Mosaic, we need to adjust some of the Mac OS security features to allow Mosaic to function. Okay, so the first thing is accessibility. All we have to do is click here on this fix button and that's going to open up a little video to show you what to do. I'm going to navigate it for you so we're not going to watch this whole video. What I am going to do is click open accessibility preferences and this is our system preferences. What we need to do is click the lock to make changes, type in our password, and then put a check mark here in Mosaic. To save time, I'm going to scroll down a little and go to Input Monitoring and put a check mark here. Click Later and then close this. Now I'm going to click Done. So I'm just going to click Restart Mosaic and we'll be on our way. Okay, so Mosaic has a great drag and drop interface and as soon as I start dragging one of these windows, the drag and drop interface will appear at the top of your screen and you can see we've got a lot of different options to resize our window. We can make a custom arrangement, we can make it full screen, centered, uh, top and bottom. But all I have to do is drag and drop the window on one of these areas and we can resize the window. I'm going to drag this one to the left. Okay. Now you can see that by default, Mosaic has left this gutter around my windows. And I personally don't like the gutters, so I'm going to click on the Mosaic icon in the menu bar and come down to Preferences. And I'm going to change the default gutter by clicking on this three dots and I'm going to go to small, actually I'm going to go to zero and click away and close this. So now when I drag a window, it will take up the whole screen. I'm the kind of guy who likes to use up as much screen real estate as I can. So that was pretty fast, right? Resizing the windows, getting them in the right spot. I'm going to show you one more tip to make this even faster. I'm going to click back here in the mosaic menu bar icon and go back to preferences. This time I'm going to choose layouts and I'm going to scroll down. So for the right, I'm just going to click on that and I can assign a keyboard shortcut. So the keyboard shortcut that I like is control option command right arrow. And for the left, I'm going to also assign a keyboard shortcut control option command left arrow. Let me assign one more. Full screen, I like to assign the keyboard shortcut Control Option Command Return. Okay, so with just those three keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to close this window. Now I can just click on a, a window. I don't have to drag anything and I can just push the keyboard shortcut Control Option Command right and it'll move there. 
switch to the notes app control option command left and it'll move there maybe I, I want to see a little bit more of this control option command return full screen you can see how fast and how much how efficient you can be with mosaic installed on your computer you'll just be resizing windows and doing all kinds of finger keyboard shortcuts to move everything around it's great once you get used to it you'll never go back so mosaic was an app that it really only does one thing but it does it really well and it saves me so much time every day that I just love using it. So I hope this tip has helped you and I'll see you in the next episode when we talk about another time saver.